I work mostly with installation and sculptures. My work is based on, on casting, the process of casting. What I think is very interesting because, I mean, it's related, resonates a lot with the society where we do it. We copy one another, we copy attitude. We inherit in so many information from our parents and society and the neighborhood. So, and somehow, for me, casting is add a lot of to the narrative of my work. Where I also include the material. The material that I use is also giving the viewer the content of my work. For example, this work is made on plastic and it looks real so that the viewer come and get closer to the work. Most of the time they touch the work and they say, oh no, it's plastic. So they kind of uh, go back with ideas they have been seeing before. I mean, don't trust in what you see. So I mean, what is reality? Is reality's contract? Is reality is what we see, what is what we experience or is something else? So in this particular case, it's one piece belong to installation and sculptures called don't write it in eyes. Where I come from in Cuba, my mom used to say to me all the time, I mean, if it's something important, don't write it in eyes. I mean, metaphorical way of speaking, a block of ice in the, in the tropic where I come from, we melt in very easily. So, I mean, it's referred to the, to the experience that what you, what you learn, you have to keep it and you have to kind of make it in a stone, you know, to, to give generation to generation. That's mainly how people pass information in Cuba, especially with the time was no internet. And I've been asking people to give me some story about their life, stories related with the failures and violence, for example. And then between the person giving me a story and myself, we agree to embody that story in the, into the object. Most of the time, the object related to the story. So what I do, we find the object, I make a casting of the object, I make it in the material, it's called a two component F-180, it's very similar to the material that I, they use in the record industry. Then I engrave this story into the object. I have been building a record playing machine that this two meters time 240 time 180 then you can place the object and then listen the story to the object in that sense you give it that body to the story that you know they, they could disappear with time you know that you don't make art for anybody than yourself I mean the moment you start to compromise your ideas and what you're feeling about your role as an art in the society you don't and you don't make art anymore you do something for something else for somebody else. It's a trending thing in Instagram and everybody wants to do exactly the same. And so, I mean, it could be that you lose identity. And I think that's the only thing you have as an artist, your background, where you come from, and where you're going in that journey. Mm -hmm.